In this problem, we have to find the zeros of this function, find the multiplicity of the zeros, and then determine whether the graph touches and turns around at each zero or crosses the x-axis. Let's go ahead and work through it. So to find the zeros, we just take our function f of x and we set it equal to zero. So we have three parentheses x minus five and then parentheses x minus seven squared equals zero. And whenever you have a product equal to zero, um, you can just set each piece equal to zero. You could just divide the three away, by the way, if you're wondering, you can just do this so we don't have to worry about the three. So we have x minus five, x minus seven squared equal to zero. Then you just set each piece equal to zero, x minus five equals zero, and then here x minus seven squared equals zero. Good stuff. In the first case, you just get x equals five. In the second case, you get x equals seven. So notice there's a one here. That's the multiplicity. So the multiplicity is the exponent that you see there. So multiplicity one. And over here, the multiplicity is two. So multiplicity two. You can pretty much do it without doing any work. You can just kind of look at it and say, okay, the multiplicity is one, the multiplicity is two. It's really simple if you, if you know how to do it. And then because this is an odd number, it's going to cross the x-axis here at x equals five. And because this is an even number, it's going to touch and turn around at x equals seven. So these are the answers. x equals five is the zero, the multiplicity is one, and it crosses the x-axis there. x equals seven is the zero, the multiplicity is two, and it touches and turns around there. So that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.